Greetings, YouTube land. We have talked about being chaotic evil. Chaotic evil. Chaotic evil. And now we should talk about its opposing alignment. The other problem, alignment in Dungeons and Dragons. Lawful good. Often nicknamed lawful stupid. Because in most of their official publications, the lawful good characters are imbeciles or stuck up. No fun of bastards. And that is not how they should be played. Your lawful good character is your Superman, your Samuel Vimes, your Shining Knight. You are unquestionably the good guy of the scene or the good girl. You are noble, you are pure, and you are right. Because of alignments, and alignments being sides, you are on the side of the angels. You know this. It is objectively, provably true. <laughs> and in most D&D universes, the law of good character is right. Their way is right. The way of the demons is wrong. <laughs> and if you, anyone tells you that it's a point of view, you should look at them suspiciously because they're probably not on the side of the angels. But why would you want to play a lawful good character? To be the hero. To be the good guy. To be the person who selflessly risks their life and at the end declines the reward for doing good as its own reward. You can be noble. You can be pure. You can be the great hero. You are the one who the legends get talked about. But this does come, people feel that this is restrictive. I mean, you can't murder, loot, rape, pillage, steal. But being on the side of the angels doesn't mean you have to be nice. You don't have to be saccharine. If a thing needs doing, then you will do it. If there is someone doing evil over there, and you know they're doing evil, and you've caught them doing evil, then you can brutally and viciously take them down, murder them. For their destruction lessens evil in the world. Yes, there is, as the Punisher once said, killing a killer, killing one killer, does leave one's killer still around, but I've killed a lot of killers. So the net result is good. There are a lot of killers in the ground because of me. And if I have to be a killer, then so be it. That is a burden I accept. So you can be that sort of person. You can be the Grim Avenger. The one who has taken it on themselves to tarnish their souls so everyone else may not be not be burdened by being a murderer you take it on you wear the burdens you take the responsibility and these are heroic things so you can do that you also get to be you should also get to be admired in your game gems take note here if someone is playing a lawful good character someone who's true and noble then reward them for it out of game people help a hero People look out for a hero. People don't look out for legalistic scum or rogue do-gooders. They certainly don't look out for the, for the demons and the drinkers of the world. But for the hero, they will do things. They will do favors. They will hide them when the secret police come knocking. They will risk, they will risk themselves for them. They will be inspired by them. They will cheer them when they come back. They will name their children after them. They will want to follow them. They will help them. They will aid them. A lawful good character may not have a single gold piece to their name, but they still always have a good. They always have a fresh sword because the smith they saved three years ago has now made them a sword. And when they come back, when they come back to to the town, dragging the carcass of the last monster to be terrorizing the countryside. Then that smith also goes, oh yes, I'll, yeah, I'll fix that rented armor, that torn piece there, and I'll give you a new, I'll give you a new breastplate because you 
seem to have a melted hole in that one, they get their stuff back. They should get just a lot of stuff for free. Because people like to help the person who helps them, the hero. They will look out for them. They should get an awful lot of extra credit with nobles. A noble would like to be seen to be supporting someone who is good. Because that goodness will shine on them. You know, they can't possibly be a bad tyrant if they are supporting the paladin. Or they are helping them. They are hosting them when he needs somewhere to stay. He is, you know, that means I must be a good person too. Because, you see, I am helping this shining knight, this paragon of virtue. I can't be all bad myself. Even though they are lawful evil. So, you, you should get free stuff for being lawful good. People should volunteer to help you. Everything should be showered on you as gifts. You should refuse most of them. Unless you are lawful good. You don't want to tax people. But if you need something, then you can have it. You should just be given it for free. Um, but you should also learn to deal with your fellow paragons. Because they're probably not paragons of virtue themselves. They're going to be they're going to be bad wizards they're going to be heretical priests but don't attack them do not attack your pa fellow party members right. in, the, in the chaotic evil version this is a game you are all there to cooperate so cooperate find and record you can argue with the other characters you can point out the right thing to do and you should be convincing. You should say, we should do this. We should do this good thing. We should save the villagers. We, we shouldn't melt them down. What? what? Stop that! <laughs> and if someone is doing something which is a little evil, like using a book of necromancy, then complain about it. Or argue with them. Say, don't. Don't use that black book. Don't. Don't. I can feel chills down my spine every time you cast a necromancy spell. But let, let the wizard do their dark thing. But you can argue, you can talk about it, but don't attack them. You don't. You must, you know, come to an accord with them, come, come to a grudging agreement. Just as the chaotic evil character must grudgingly agree that, yes, okay, yes, I'll go along with the band, because, well, I need the band. A lawful good character occasionally goes along with the band, lets a few things slide, because it is for the greater good. They have gathered these people to do the good thing that they want done. And if a few things get stolen, if a few hearts get broken, if a few dark arts get relearned or unearthed, a few heresies get spread, if the dark tyrants are thrown down and the evil demons are sent back into the abyss, then it's still a net win for the, for the forces of law and goodness. You can still come out ahead. And of course, that might drag you down and cause you to abandon your exalted state. But that too is part of the story. So, if you can't be kind of evil, be lawful good. Be the good guy. Be the person who makes all the right choices. Be the paragon for Mass Effect. Be the person who always takes the light side choices out of the Bioware games. Be the good guy. Be the inspiration. Be the hero. Thank you.